100% in favour of repealing the Eighth Amendment. I think a lot of our parties are experts in ignoring the, re the reality of the situation, and the reality of the situation is people are going from Ireland to England to get abortions. It happens every day. So why are we making it so much more traumatic for them? We should support our women. We should trust our women. I find it ironic that Lucinda Creighton and Renewa want a conscience clause for TDs, but they won't let individual women on the ground have a conscience cl clause for themselves. They should have completely... Please. Well, Vincent, I'm the mother of a 20-year-old young woman for her, for her friends um, and for the generations to come because it's, it's too late for people uh, my age. I would support the repeal of the Eighth Amendment. I think, you know, for every time this issue is mentioned, uh, people are wheeled out to say, well, it's time we had a calm and rational debate. We've debated this issue uh, up and down. I think uh, we've had a calm and rational debate and for, for uh, 23 years. And I think it's time now to repeal the eighth. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, it's 33 years. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's the point, years, isn't it? Yeah. That nobody of present reproductive age had actually got a say in that constitutional decision. Meanwhile, Irish abortion is continuing every day, just not in Ireland, which is hypocritical. It's going back to the days of the Magdalene laundries, the denials and so on. And there's no other health or medical procedure that's actually outlawed or prohibited in our constitution. Now, I think it's very important to say, I respect anybody who has a viewpoint, who believes that they personally, uh, you know, are anti-abortion or whatever, but nobody is forcing people of that view to have an abortion. What this is necessary for is to get rid of the Eighth Amendment. It can be either uh, legislation or regulation to provide for free, safe, legal abortion for all of the circumstances that women choose because the women who have abortions are the women who have babies. They're your mothers, your sisters, your daughters, and they do so for very good reasons known only to themselves. And we should respect that and support those decisions. And I think okay. that is what Irish the, people the, want. the abortion issue is a complex one because... There's there's a clash between what we would regard as the rights of the unborn child and the rights of the mother to have a body used in the way that she thinks fit. Um, but there is that clash, and should our laws in any way protect the entitlements of the child involved? No, look, at, I think, and, and human rights legislation does not recognise human rights being invoked until the point of birth. I think the majority is that, is that of people... Good I think it is because, you see, the majority of people... Um, would view that, and I, I suppose we call it, it's been referred to as the unborn child. It's a fetus. It's a small group of cells. It is part of the woman's and life when, when, and when body, does which the, has no... When does the unborn child become a, a human being? In Titan, in Titan. Well, we, we can debate these things. When it's capable of independently living. That's oh, a, really? So yeah. you, are, you, you, then, yeah. you then think there should be protection up no. to the... Uh, no, uh, I, well, uh, I believe... Uh, beyond the point of... of uh, whatever, six months or whatever, when a child is... No, I think you have to look at the facts, right, which is no woman goes through six, seven, eight months of pregnancy and then turns around and says, you know, oh, I couldn't be bothered, I think I'll have an abortion. If there's a case for a late abortion, which are rare, and to be honest, countries like Ireland force people to have later abortions by not providing access to the treatment here in Ireland. That's a fact. But late abortions generally come in tragic circumstances where the woman's life or the life of the fetus is at risk. Uh, otherwise, people would have made the decision earlier. It's only our lack of legislation that okay. tonight. Could I just one thing? Obviously, Irish people agree with this, Vincent, because people voted by about 90% to allow women to travel for an abortion. If they thought they were travelling for murder, they wouldn't have voted like that. People understand it's a complex issue. A woman knows her own body. Mm.